Hmm, let's see. This teen has already written a book, starred on several TV shows such as Mixed Dish and Casey Undercover. She also made history at age 14, becoming the youngest person to be accepted into Emerson College. The actress, author, activist, and motivational speaker, Miss Trinity Stokes, is here with us right now. So let us all bow down to Miss Trinity Stokes. We are not worthy. Are you kidding me, Trinity? Are you, is that what we do now? I don't know how to react to someone no, who made history. Not what we do now. No, no, I will be, I will just, if my head is down this whole interview, just know I'm just bowing. I can't help it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so let's just say this, 15, you're going to be attending Emerson yes. College in Boston this fall. Yes. I, I can't, yes. I can only imagine how excited you are. So would you be att attending classes in person? Because I know you're bi pretty busy, so I don't know how your schedule is going to allow you to go to school, you know, as a regular college student. Right. So this fall I will be fully virtual. So that way I will be able to continue to film and do everything that I need to do on the artistic side while still um, achieving my education. So I will be fully virtual this semester. All right, so we understand you applied to a few schools. So what made you choose Emerson over the rest of them? And what are you going to be studying? Yes, so I'm going to be studying political communication with a minor in public diplomacy. And what made me choose Emerson honestly was everything that makes Emerson. So the small classes, the small class size that really enticed me because all my educational career, I've been homeschooled. So I've always had that one on one experience, whether that's me and my mom teaching or me and my set teacher. So I've, I'm so accustomed to being able to have a customized learning experience. And that was something that I really wanted to carry over into college. Also, the alumni that is associated with Emerson College, I think it's like 50,000 alumni. It's honestly just wild. The Emerson Mafia, they call it. Wow. They're absolutely amazing. Um, and also just the activities that they have on campus and the classes themselves, they're absolutely amazing. And it was something that I didn't really see at any other college that really just roped me in. Well, let me tell you, I, I had never even heard of those those majors you mentioned. I was just like, pretend like you know, pretend like you know, so she thinks you're cool. So, <laughs> but, we, but we can't wait because before we know it, it's going to be graduation time from college and then we're going to even feel older. But a lot of your fans know you as Judy on the hit Disney Channel series, Casey on the cover, which also starred Zendaya. You guys like doing big things. So how old were you when you started on that show? Because I know that's what my niece remembers you from. I was eight. What? I was eight. I was eight years old. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen that picture in so long. Nostalgia. Oh, look at you, nostalgia. <laughs> oh, wait till you get to 82 like me, Trinity, and then you will see. <laughs> All right. Why are you laughing? Oh, it's true. Uh, so you have a recurring role as Tamika on the show Mixed Dish. We have a clip, and let's take a look, and we'll chit chat. Boys like it when you're really clumsy, especially when you're carrying a stack of papers. Yeah, if you drop them, he'll help you pick them up, you'll lock eyes, and he'll kiss you. Oh, kiss him in the rain. You just got your hair under control. Don't kiss him in the rain. OK, is that all? Just make sure there's nothing embarrassing in your room. <laughs> Yeah, there isn't. We believe her, don't we? <laughs> How much fun is it to be on a show like that that is just so funny? We've had Michael Michelle Harris on the show, and every single person, it looks like you guys are having a blast. And Tika Sumter, too, is my Honestly. cousin, just so you know. Honestly, we are having so much fun. I'm, I'm surprised that we get as much filming done as we do <laughs> because we're really just having so much fun, and everyone on the show, we just get along so well. So the chemistry there is just yin and yang, honestly. All right, and as if people are not impressed with you already with all your accomplishments, I did mention you are a published author, author, Bold and Blessed, How to Stay True to Yourself and Stand Out from the Crowd is your book. So what motivated yes. you to write it? And I, like, I, feel, I feel like bold and blessed just being around you. Uh, well, thank you. That is the goal, to exude bold and blessed so that others can feel bold and blessed. Um, for me, what really inspired me to write Bold and Blessed was just a slew of my own personal experiences. So for me, a couple years ago, I was sort of struggling with uh, having a positive body image and high self-esteem in certain areas, um, partially due to the impact of social media and 
you know, modern beauty standards. And I was able to, of course, overcome that with the help of my parents and, and God and a lot of prayer. But that was something that you didn't really see anyone giving you steps to overcome. No one was saying, hey, mm-hmm. I used to have low self-esteem and this is how you get out of it. And so when I was able to go through that experience and overcome it, I just felt like it was my duty to inform others, this is how I did it, you can do it too. And it was also just the perfect way for me to just let everyone know, all of my fans and my supporters, these are the things that make me and you just the same. Because a lot of people think that those who do big things are so different from others when really we are just like you. I need to see your birth certificate. You are you are not everything. you are not fifteen, Trinity. You are not fifteen. And I feel blessed and bold. You are blessed and bold because you have Angela Bassett writing the forward to your to your book. So let's just see this. Acting check. College bound check. Author check. Motivational speaker check. I was like, there's nothing else missing. Maybe have you even been a prom queen yet? All right. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? I just won prom queen. Of course I know you did, Trinity. Of course you did. I was being sarcastic. There you go. Yeah. Listen, Mm -mm. you don't understand how pumped and how excited I was. Oh my goodness. I was through the roof. Oh, oh that's right. how I was when I heard you were coming on, Trinity. And you have to come back and tell us all about college and your future plans because we yes. know the fu- your future is even brighter than ever. I'm going to go get, like, tons and tons of sunglasses because I'm going to need it. We are so proud of you. Good <laughs> luck with school. And we can't wait to see you soon. Tell your parents I said hi, okay? Yes, I will do. Thank you so much. Anytime, anytime. Bye. Have a good day.